Hey guys, it is Mike back at Mike's Place, courtesy of St. Louis Bourbon Society. And today we're talking about putting the backbone back. So first, I'll bore you with some backstory. Backbone Bourbon Company was founded in Indiana by Bill Kennedy and Nolan Smith a little before 2011, and they were selling sourced bourbon in Indiana only. Then they had a supplier flake on them, and they wished the supplier had more Backbone. That's how the name was born, Backbone Bourbon. They've sourced barrels of rye and bourbon, and then in 2014, when the whiskey business really blew up, they were poised to use some old stock and create some good stuff. So a lot of their products are uncut because if it's perfect out of the barrel, why mess with it? Even though both founders had thought previously that great bourbon was about 90 proof, they realized rapidly that great bourbon is whatever proof it tastes best at. So with that being said, this is St. Louis Bourbon Society's barrel pick. It's six and a half years old. It's 118 proof and currently it's only being sold at Randall's in St. Louis. So what does this taste like? Now, clearly I've had a few pours and I love it. I'll tell you why I love it. On the nose, it is sweet, cherry, vanilla, but then a bit of leather, a little bit of baking spice in the background. Classic flavors, but it's bold. It just, it really fills the glass and my nose, and I love how this stuff smells. On the palate. That's where it explodes. Front of the palate, sweet creme brulee burnt sugar, a little bit of cherry still. As it goes to the mid palate and the sides of my tongue, it dries it out. I get saddle leather, pipe tobacco, more of that barrel spice coming out. And then on the finish, it just dives deep down, explodes right here, comes back up a little bit. It's all cinnamon, like a Red Hot candy almost, or big red gum. It has got so much going on. It's a complex pour. It really is a thinker. You don't just sip it and go, hmm, well, maybe you do, but this is one where I needed to come back to it a few times. The nose on my one to two scale, it's a, well, sorry, zero, one, two scale, it's a two. Yes, it's classic flavors, but it's such a bold burst of it, unexpected. The palate, monstrous. It evolves, it changes, but it's a two. The finish is hot cinnamon. I give it a one, it's not bad. It just isn't that crazy unexpected for a higher proof bourbon like this. So it's a five out of six on my scale. A five out of six, if you watched a few of my videos, if the price is right, it's a, it's, it's a must buy. And this one definitely is. 60, 65 bucks, um, one of proof. The first thing I thought of when I had this was that it really reminds me of rare breed bourbon. Now, don't get me wrong. This is not a direct replacement or a brother of Rare Breed, but Rare Breed's classic flavors of brown sugar, leather, tobacco, vanilla, um, that's what this one has too. So if you love Rare Breed, which I do, it's one of my benchmark bourbons that I judge others by, this one will likely be a favorite for you. So guys, thanks for visiting. See you soon. Good luck grabbing a bottle. Adios.